Well, I would make the difference between prayer, which is what? Concentrated thought and worship. Um, it's a very true um, understanding that people uh, have that, that work and experiment with energy and the mind. That when you focus on something, whatever it is, you focus your attention on it, you, you make it an energetic connection. And worship is a real focused um, connection. It's a, a, a real uh, focused connection to that which you're worshipping. And because of the way energy works, if you have a, a symbol, uh, which people might call a deity in a religion, if that is actually a symbol of something else, say a, an entity, when you focus your worship on that deity, be it Jesus or Allah or any of them, Yahweh, you are focusing attention and you're focusing energy. You are making an energetic connection which that entity can feed off your energy field. And, and I, I met a man who was a, a, one of these um, inventors, uh, technology, very advanced stuff. Um, in Utah and he invented this technology which worked with the etheric energy field just outside of human sight um, I mean people you know even science understands that there's something there that we call the etheric field anyway um, he said the only time that this technology didn't work um, efficiently was when the Mormon churches in the valley, and there was there was a lot of churches in his valley, were actually doing their worship ritual, because the etheric field was being filled by this um, energy of worship. So, the more that I've understood this, um, it seems to me, not, and, and another level of this is all these different religions, when you break them down and take them back, are all based on sun and moon worship, sun god and moon goddess worship. Um, these different religions are all excuses to get different groups to focus their attention and worship on the same, same entities. And, and the new age, where it focuses on Ashtar Command or the Great White Brotherhood or their version of Jesus and all this stuff, these other these entities, they're also just another expression of this whole um, energy vampiring through worship. But that's different to prayer, which is concentrated thought. And, I, and, and I, I've kind of found in my life anyway that one of the most powerful energies to change our lives is intent. And if you put your intent out of what you want to do, um, what tends to happen is that energy will draw to you what you need to uh, experience to achieve that intent. And this is this where a lot of it falls down because say um, you say I want to I I expand my consciousness, I want to be the full potential of who I am, I want to know what this reality is, I want to know the big questions. When you put out that intent, you will draw to you in experience, people, um, uh, information that which will um, allow you to move into that desired intent however this will not be always people um, and experiences that you'd like to experience because what's keeping us from that expanded consciousness is programmed beliefs and programmed uh, thought patterns and therefore if we're going to achieve that intent that we want these have to go and so I can see this in my own life so clearly and I see it in other people all the time once you put out that intent I want to expand my consciousness all the stuff I talked about what you tend to start drawing towards you are people experiences and situations which you did really would rather not like uh, to experience but what it does is it breaks down the programming because of the experiences that gives you and you, you then start to break free say for instance uh, one of your programs is fear of not having money 
Um, so you're, you're, you're focused on money all the time because um, you fear not having enough. If you want to be truly free, then that fear, that program has to go. So what someone like that would experience when they put out the intent is experiences would come towards them that would take the money away. And, and, and it's like face your fear and realize there's nothing to be frightened about. Um, and uh, people get confused then and they think, oh, look, you know, I always want to be spiritual and, and, and good and stuff and all hell was broken loose in my life and it's terrible. I'm not doing this anymore. They don't realize what's happening. Um, it took me a while to understand because when I, when I started on this journey, my life fell apart in the most extraordinary uh, way. Everything, every thing that I saw as my uh, uh, security and sense of self, all of them went. And, uh, but in doing so, it set me free. So um, the power of prayer is the power of intent in so many ways. And, and so the, what people call the power of prayer can be very, very powerful and very, very effective so long as it's um, not done in worship, not done in subservience, but done in the understanding that, that we have the power to use our minds to make changes in our lives. And that's what prayer is, but religion has hijacked it and taken it off on another direction. I have to pray to a deity because I'm subordinate to the deity and only the deity has control over my life. And please, deity, will you help me because you're big and wonderful, I'm just little and small. Nonsense. Nonsense. That's how they control us.